Chapter 14 Striving for Better Environment Part 1 Pollution Pollution is the introduction of contaminants in an environment which have harmful effects on the ecosystem. The abiotic or non-living factors of the environment like air, water, soil are contaminated by addition of harmful substances. Radiations and sounds surpassing certain limits can also be harmful. Pollutant A pollutant is a substance introduced into the environment that has harmful effects on plants, animals and humans. It makes land, water, air, etc. unsafe or unsuitable for use. Some substances are not harmful by nature, but considered as pollutants only after their concentration exceeds specified limits. For example, carbon dioxide is used by plants for photosynthesis but increasing CO2 levels lead to greenhouse effect and global warming. Music is soothing in moderate volume but loud music increases heartbeat and causes palpitation and headaches. Types of Pollution there are five types of pollution. 1. Air pollution. 2. Water pollution. 3. Soil pollution. 4. Noise pollution. And 5. Radioactive pollution. Soil pollution. Soil pollution refers to introduction of contaminants such as toxic chemicals, compounds, metals, etc. into soil which leads to a decline in soil quality making it unsuitable for use. Soil pollution adversely affects plants and animals. Types of Soil Pollutants the various types of soil pollutants are Pesticides Inorganic pollutants Example Mercury Arsenic Cadmium Lead etc. Radioactive materials Organic wastes such as detergents, borates agricultural wastes, crop residues, sewage, effluents, etc. Airborne contaminants such as gaseous emissions from industries. Sources of soil pollution Industrial waste Industries such as chemicals, paper and pulp mills, paints, and foundries produce waste. Thermal power plants create a huge amount of fly ash. The direct dumping of these wastes leads to soil pollution. Domestic waste The waste generated in homes also finds its way to the soil. Domestic waste includes Garbage such as paper, plastic bottles, glass, batteries, and even food waste. It is dumped in huge landfills outside cities. Paper and food waste are biodegradable, while plastic is non-biodegradable and remains in soil for long periods. Fertilizers To improve crop yields, farmers frequently use fertilizers, 
which provide nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium. Excessive use of fertilizers causes waterlogging and salinity. Biomedical Wastes Biomedical waste is waste that is produced during the diagnosis and treatment of human beings or animals. It includes expired medicines, disposable syringes, needles, gloves, intravenous fluid bottles, soiled bandages, cotton and gauzes soaked in blood and other body fluids. These are hazardous and can spread diseases. Pesticides Pesticides are substances used to kill pests. Pests can include insects, rodents and other microbes. Pesticides can be toxic to humans and other animals. Effects of Soil Pollution Many pathogens or disease-causing agents such as bacteria, viruses, protozoa and parasitic worms are found in sewage sludge. Untreated sewage can thus cause diseases. Animal excreta is used as manure in fields. Human excreta also finds its way to soil. Both human and animal excreta contain pathogens that can contaminate crops which can lead to diarrhea, typhoid, cholera, dysentery, etc. Soil pollution leads to a decline in soil quality which includes deterioration of soil fertility and productivity. When soil pollutants like toxic compounds seep into groundwater or reach water bodies through farm runoff, they lead to water pollution. Radioactive materials in the soil can enter the food chain through crops which are consumed by humans and animals. Noise Pollution Noise is a sound or combination of sounds causing unpleasantness and disturbance. Rapid urbanization and industrialization have contributed to noise pollution. Sources of noise pollution are industrial and non-industrial. Various industries require huge machines which work at high speeds and generate noise of high intensity. Non-industrial sources of noise are household gadgets, vehicular traffic. Major sources of noise pollution are traffic noise, aircrafts, railways, construction activity, industries, noise from consumer products example household appliances festivals effects of noise pollution the intensity frequency and exposure duration of noise determines effect of noise pollution elevated sound levels can affect humans in three ways Auditory effects Prolonged exposure to sound can cause deafness and auditory fatigue or temporary hearing loss. Non-auditory effects Excessive noise leads to annoyance, disturbance in sleep, loss of concentration and productivity, violent behavior, adverse effects on children's cognition. Physiological effects Noise causes stress, anxiety, nausea, mood swings, 
etc. It raises blood pressure and heart rate which can cause cardiovascular diseases. Radioactive pollution The introduction of radioactive materials in land, air and water is called radioactive pollution. Nuclear power plants, nuclear weapons, mining of radioactive materials, nuclear accidents and medical waste are the sources of radioactive pollution. Effects of radioactive pollution Radiation damage to humans depends on the level and duration of exposure. Radiation sickness can occur when humans are exposed to high levels of radiation. As radioactive materials decay, they generate ionizing radiation, which destroys the chemical bonds between atoms and molecules that make up tissues in the human body. They can damage the DNA of the cell. If the exposure level is too high, then the body is unable to repair the damage. In the long term, mistakes in repairing damage to DNA can lead to cancer, birth defects, etc. Radioactive pollution can also damage plant growth, kill plants and result in weak seeds which don't germinate. Damage caused by radiations can be transmitted to many generations ahead. Abatement of Pollution Remedial steps taken to mitigate pollution is known as abatement of pollution. The Government of India has formulated laws for the prevention, control and abatement of pollution. Some of the laws are Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974 Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981 Environment Protection Act 1986 The Water Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1974 and Air Prevention and Control of Pollution Act 1981 empowers the Central Pollution Control Board that is CPCB and state bodies such as the Maharashtra Pollution Control Board to prevent and control air and water pollution. These bodies oversee the implementation of the pollution control laws in all organizations such as industries, municipalities, factories, zilla parishads, panchayat samitis and gram panchayats. Environment Protection Act 1986 empowers the central government to protect the environment. These acts prohibit industries from causing pollution and prescribe minimum discharge levels of pollutants and other safety regulations to prevent pollution. The central and state pollution control bodies can serve notices to impose fines on or shut down polluting units. Certain methods are adopted by industries to reduce air pollution. They are Use of tall chimneys to weaken source discharge. Implementing corrective methods like changing the raw material, equipment modification or process modification. Deploying equipment like dust collectors, electrostatic precipitators, wet scrubbers, etc. to control pollution. 
To reduce water pollution, industries carry out effluent treatment and sewage treatment. Effluent treatment precipitates the dissolved solids which are then filtered. Effluent treatment plants also correct the level of oxygen dissolved in water. Role of Citizens in Pollution Control The common man can take various steps to reduce pollution. They are plant trees and develop gardens parks and open grounds in your locality. Reduce use of fossil fuels and cut down on your electricity usage. Use public transport. Use non-conventional sources of energy such as solar, wind, tidal energy, etc. Maintain cleanliness in your home and in public places. Carry out maintenance of vehicles regularly. Concept Map Pollution can be of five types. Air pollution, water pollution, soil pollution, noise pollution and radioactive pollution. Air pollution can be caused by industries, transportation, agriculture and various types of burnings. Water pollution can be caused due to natural or man-made activities, domestic sewage, industrial waste, radioactive waste and agricultural runoff. Soil pollution can be caused by industrial waste domestic sewage, chemical fertilizers, biomedical waste and pesticides. Noise pollution can be caused by industry, road traffic, aircraft, railroads, construction, consumer products and festival celebrations. Radioactive pollution can be caused by nuclear power plant and fuel, nuclear weapon mining, nuclear accident and medical waste. Effects of air pollution are irritation of eyes and nose, bronchitis, headache, pneumonia, allergy, asthma attack and lung cancer. The effects of water pollution are cholera, diarrhea, dysentery, hepatitis, polio and jaundice. The effects of soil pollution are various diseases, abnormalities, effect on heart and metabolism changes. The effects of noise pollution are annoyance, violent behavior, mental disorder, bickering, fatigue and nausea. The effects of radioactive pollution are nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, loss of hair, skin cancer, thyroid cancer and lung cancer.